Hello everyone, and welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at another old timer knife, and this is another one from their Heritage series. So this is the 50TH, which is a lockback knife, so unfortunately it's not legal in the UK to carry outside your property, but it's one I've seen a lot on YouTube and a lot of the, the knife guys have it and they all rave about it. So it's one I felt I had to pick up and give it a try. So you can see you've got the, the new style old timer logo here. It's a D2 steel blade. It has a 2.8 inch drop point blade and it's a lockback folder design with the nickel silver bolsters. And you can see here it is the Heritage Series Bruin 50TH. And then on the back of the packaging here, you can see the length of it. So if I turn it round, so you've got 3.7 inch close length. You have D2 steel blade. It's a drop point, nickel silver bolsters and the lockback folder. Again, same as I did with the one the other day, you have the cancer and reproductive harm. You can visit us at the website, their social media, and then the normal sort of warnings. Again there, the total length, the weight, and it comes in this sort of boxed clamshell packaging where you can see the outline of the knife in there. Do like this packaging from Old Timer. It's, it's sort of nice and classy. It's um, the sort of subtle colours. You've got the black and then the like the creamy sort of grey on the front there. I really do like it, nice classy box. And here is the knife, the 5OTH. It has the beautiful sort of grey laminated wood handle like all the knives from the Heritage series. And then you can see the new hexagonal old timer shield there with the sharp finger at the top, old timer stamped in there and established 1958. You have brass pins here holding the knife together here and here and then a nickel silver bolster and the transition between all of these on here is absolutely fantastic it's the squared bolster design it's all been very nicely hafted off no sharp edges to speak of at all even the tang is rounded off a nice a knife uh, rounded off enough so you don't catch your finger on it not really any gap in to speak of tiniest bit here around the lock bar but that's sort of normal for for a lockback design, seeing as it does need to move in and out of there to make sure the knife works. And you can see then the termination around here is excellent as well. On the back of the knife, same story as the front, that really nice grey laminated wood with smooth pins and an excellent transition to the bolster. Really well made, I do really like the grey the grey wood and it, it really stands out when you take it out in the natural light, the sun really makes it pop. You see the blade came pretty much bang on centered, maybe favoring the show side a tiny little bit, but it's, it's sort of a budget work knife and I wouldn't expect it to be absolutely perfect for any, any reason. So we have a close length of one, two, three, yes, three and three quarter length inches. Just open up the blade and it is a lock back, so it's a nice sort of you do get a bit of snap on the close, but from about here, and it doesn't sort of shake open or anything. It's really sort of, you know, that's going to stay closed in your pocket. You do have a nail nick to open, but you can also easily, just as easy, pinch the blade open, which is what I would do. And then when it snaps into that lock position, there is no wobble or blade rock at all. It's solid in there. You can see you have the old timer logo there and the date of manufacture which is March 23 and on the back of the blade there you can see the model number which is 5OTH and D2 designate in the steel. Grind on this is pretty even all the way up till about a little bit of the tip where it's a tiny bit heavy. Same story on the back really a little tiny bit heavy on the tip but it came razor sharp like scary sharp so no problems at all and this is going to be used as a work knife for me same sort of reason I'll be using the 112 for like gardening work, outdoor tasks, things like that. So it's going to get put to use. Um, you know, a knife I'm not going to be afraid to sort of beat on. You can see, I do have a little bit of stepping when in the locked up position. Don't know if you can make that out there. Nail does catch on it a little bit, but it's not sharp and it's not too bad. I mean, that's a very minor gripe considering the amazing quality of this. Got the lockback easily engaged, not stiff to push at all. 
doesn't sort of leave any marks in your thumb. I know a couple of lockbacks are really stiff to close. This one is excellent. It has a really nice smooth close action and open action. There's sort of, I wouldn't say there's no resistance because obviously it, it doesn't drop down, but it's smooth enough that, you know, you don't feel the metal rub in. It just feels you know, like it's going across glass. Overall opinion to this knife, I, I'm I'm really pleased with it. It's got that, that sort of tough wearing handle, traditional sort of classic design for a lockback. You can get a four finger grip on here and you know with a little bit of room left over and you can really sort of bear down on this knife and you know it's going to do the task you put it to and you're not going to be concerned about the d2 blade because you know that edge will last not the thinnest behind the edge but as i said again it's a work knife it's meant for doing you know outdoor tasks like carving wood um you know different bits and pieces like that it's not a delicate knife it's not meant for delicate tasks but it will do everything you throw at it and this is one I really, I really recommend if, you, if you're able to carry a locking knife. I know John over at Thrifty Kniffy loves this knife. And it, it's one I'd definitely be part of my main sort of rotation. Although, be advised, it's not UK legal, so carry it at your own risk in the UK. I'll be using it around my property and I'll have no problems with that. And you can get it for a really reasonable price here in the UK as well. I think I paid £30 for it over at blades.co.uk. Yep, little more than you would normally get it for in the US, but you do have to pay that UK tax when it arrives. But I do think £30, or what, plus equates to 35 bucks for this sort of knife of this quality, is by far exceptional. So if you want to grab yourself a bargain, definitely head over to blaze.co.uk and pick one of these up while they've still got them. So I know they do sell out fast. So there we go, guys. That's my review of the old-timer... 5 OTH, a fantastic lockback design and one definitely you should pick up if you're interested in trying a locking knife or if locking knives are your thing. I really hope you enjoyed this review. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And I just want to thank everyone for subscribing. I've just gone over that 700 mark and I will be doing a giveaway at 750 subscribers. So keep an eye out for that. I'm probably going to do a sort of a surprise one, so you're going to need to watch all the videos to the end just to make sure you can get yourself entered. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.